be making basics. What's good, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel and the content. But without further ado, let's jump in. Today, we're going to be making a dope piano type beat in Logic Pro 10. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to be using a sample that I got off of TrackLib. All right. If you're new to TrackLib, basically, it's a site that you can get some royalty free. Well, I won't say royalty free, but samples that you can clear um, right from the app. OK, first things first, um, I got this uh, piano sample right here. It's under Murder Beats. It's pretty hard. And um, you want to match the BPM, okay? It gives you the BPM, the actual key, and everything like that. So this is a 122 BPM. What I'm actually going to do is go to my uh, session, and I'm going to match that up. So go up two notches, boom. Just to make sure, we're going to turn on the metronome, and I'm just going to come over here and see if it's matched up. Doesn't really seem like it is. Let me zoom in to see if there's something off. All right, and so in these instances, what I can do to make sure that this thing adds up is I can turn this uh, this on right here. Guy right here, man. Get this guy out the way. And this is our uh, flex time, okay? Um, and I actually want to put it on flex time instead of flex pitch. Okay, and that just helps match it up real quick. And all I did, as y'all saw, is just click this button, click this button, and make sure I went from flex pitch to flex time under speed, okay? And that basically automatically, uh, you know, linked up the, uh, matched up the time for the beat, okay? So now that we got our beat matched up and everything like that, what I can do is take this and drag it over to the quick sampler, and it makes it easy for me now to pitch this up or down, okay? so. What I'll do here is, yeah, no loop. Want to turn this on. And let's just make sure that this uh, matches up with the tempo. All right, so we're good to go. At this point, now I can just find what pitch I want to do it, it you know, in. It was at B. Um, B minor or whatever, but let's say if we want to take it down some. All right, bet. So now we got something so we can work with. I'm gonna put on musical typing just so you can see what I'm pushing, or playing, and we're gonna do it like this. Cool. So from here, I'm just gonna quantize this uh, this whole section here. I'm turning up the velocity and let's push this Q here. I have it on a one over eight swing A. Cool. So now that we have that going, it's only fitting that we go ahead and find some type of 808 pattern to put on there. So lay that down. All right, 
right, so we messed up a little bit. It's all good, good. Just um, quantize everything. And let's see how it sounds now. That sounds a little choppy, so what we can do to make it smoother is just go ahead and right click on this and go over here to Force Legato. Next, we'll go ahead and add a clap. Actually, that, that's, that clap sounded good in there, so I might go ahead and put that extra clap in. Next thing, let's go ahead and do some hi-hats. I love using the step sequencer for that. It makes it super simple. Add a little variation, push it up to the 64 steps. Now we're gonna add just a little note repeat just to add a little more variation in this. Cool, so we have our hi-hats now. Next thing, let's go ahead and add like an open hi-hat. Okay, dope, we got that. Now we can pretty much Quantize that and let's add this kick. Kind of want to keep the kick pattern simple. If we want to quantize that. Basically, I'm making this kick pattern match up with the uh, 808 pattern. Quick tip when it comes to matching up or replaying like the kick on the 808, if you look at this white line and look right up here in this area, you can kind of see where each 808 pattern is and you technically can draw it in here. So check this out. Say if this wasn't here, 
and I wanted to play that note, I could just take this and move this white line right here. And it's moved here and here so I can see it and it's hold down I uh, command and plug it in like that. But anyway, y'all, I got a pretty dope piano beat here. What I will do is take this and um, play this an octave higher as well. double that up we might even do like a reverse and this is just giving the beat a little bit of um, variation for certain parts in the beat I actually came out pretty hard with the reverse yeah, we're going to keep on doing that too. We're going to put go ahead and do like a higher pitch one as well. Some other cool things we could do to this is like throw um, you know, like a vinyl plug in on all of these so like a quick way to do this would be instead of putting on each plug in we can come over here to the mixing uh, section right here and we can actually take take the signal from all four tracks and instead of going putting it in the stereo out we can bust it to an auxiliary track And now I can just go ahead and throw a vinyl plug in on here. Vice versa, if I wanted to as well, I can come over here to um, to this plug-in actually, or this, this auxiliary track and put like a Valhalla Room reverb on it. Turn this down, maybe turn this down some. Let's we'll see what it sounds like now. Might come in here and also change up the uh, drum pattern here. Okay, and we can also do a little thing called right here with the velocity. Turn these down.
Anyway, that's a pretty dope uh, pattern here. Just wanted to show y'all how y'all can get a um, piano beat started here. Um, just going over everything again. We went to TrackLib, downloaded um, a dope piano loop. You can get your loops from actually even in here in Logic Pro 10. You can go from go in here, get some type of dope loop. You know what I mean? Um, you can go to Splice. You can go grab my, uh, you know, uh, Blue Fire Melody Kid. I got some dope loops in there. You know, just gets you some type of loop. Drag it in, you know, chop it up, add a dope beat to it, and there you go. Anyway, man, thank you for much for watching. Thank you so much, excuse me, for watching. I'll be running my words together sometimes. So, like, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you cop something from my site, beatmakingbases.com as well. We out.